Hello guys. Uh, well, I am going to teach you how to create Counter Strike 1.6 uh, gaming server um, through which you, you and your friends can play the either uh, Steam streamer or non-streamer. Um, the basic things you need is uh, Counter Strike uh, game setup. Uh, that is because uh, you can install, you can create your server much faster uh, by using all the base files of the Counter Strike. Uh, gaming thing and uh, HLDS update tool through which you are going to update uh, your gaming server files and uh, SWDS is uh, just a patch for uh, non-steam players uh, who, who who can join your servers and all. Now let's start up with uh, by installing uh, the CS um, files game on your system let's first install the game I'll just change my location where the server is go gonna be I'll just make a new folder uh, sorry I'll just make a new folder uh, I'll name it as HLDS and install the game over there meanwhile I'll show you where from where to download the HLDS update tool and uh, non steam patch uh, this is a site uh, where you'll be able to download I'll, I'll pro I have provided the link uh, uh, in the description uh, both the the patch and the update tool. Uh, uh, well, you can install Modex uh, which MX Modex, uh, which I'll be providing you one more tutorial. Well, well, now I have installed uh, the game. I won't launch the game actually. Uh, it's meant for server right now. So, yeah. Now the uh, Files are uh, installed, all the yeah, maps and sound effects for which is required for the server too. Uh, well, this is base of the HLDS server. Now, uh, uh, if I install this install, uh, HLDS update tool in the HLDS folder uh, which I have just created uh, now by installing the Counter Strike uh, game in that, I just uh, locate that folder. Servers HLDS and that's done yes then install it well after this uh, I'm just going to give a ok well uh, I'll just go to my command prompt and uh, I'll change my directory to the gaming server directory g drive sorry um, it's g drive and uh, change directory to hlds uh, in that I am going to give this old command uh, that's hlds update tool.exe and uh, whatever and di directory would be somewhat uh, uh, g drive hlds when I give this command actually it will just download the server uh, required counter strike server required uh, database and all the base files but actually we have installed the main base files uh, in this so it would be a faster process than normal update um, well it will be just checking for a uh, update in this meanwhile time you can just see how faster it would be than normal commands you can just install hlds update tool in a normal folder directory empty directory and just check what's the difference between these two installation types by installing the game in the directory and just giving an update command you can just uh, run you can just update the files faster ok that's it that's why meanwhile the update will go take place 
well uh, for for this uh, this command can be changed for other games also uh, suppose you're having like this hlds update tool dot exe go hyphen uh, command update hyphen game c strike is there uh, you can just check out for other games uh, of half life and uh, which can be installed uh, like c0 and if for con condition 0 uh, all uh, like that okay let's wait for a while the update will take place So fast update and well, you are seeing uh, how fast the update is taking place. Uh, mm, let's, uh, well, uh, after this, uh, you need to do some port forwarding, uh, port forward settings for Counter Strike Gaming Server, which uh, I have made a tutorial for that. Well, now the HLDS installation is up to date uh, and now we can go for next steps uh, that is uh, the patch and port forwarding port forwarding uh, I have made a tutorial for that uh, you can just check it out uh, in my channel um, that's it uh, now this is done yeah, now I'm just uh, running the patch non steam and protocol patch 47 and 48 patch. Now I'll just select the, my HLDS folder and patch the server. Uh, just it should be like HLDS your main folder. You can name your folder anything. And well, that's done. Patching is done. Okay. Now basically your server has been set up. Uh, when you have done all port forwarding properly and your ports are open when you run your server and all well this was a fast uh, server creating technique now we are supposed to configure our server uh, .cfg file uh, I am just entering my C strike folder in the server and just looking out for server.cfg yeah I found that uh, and uh, we will just uh, change the settings of this and just replace my server.cfg file um, well this host name will be your server name and uh, archon underscore password will be your password sv underscore contact will be your email id um, and you can also provide a download url from where uh, you can just increase your uh, server maps download speed uh, and all in that way you can just uh, um, enable your uh, play server players uh, to just download your new map faster and these are the set master uh, adding commands uh, which just adds your server to the um, servers list um, basically this is done I just save my file to run the server you just need to open this HLDS open it yeah game D test 2 I am giving this and according to your bandwidth you can keep max players and just uh, this will be your UDP port mm, by the way UDP port you need to port for port forward uh, the ports uh, to just run your server I'll just give my account password as one two three four five and server name will be some mm. sorry I just start to start my server. Check out my console, and this is done. I think the server must be ready by now. 
uh, don't mind about this could not establish uh, connection to steam servers by the way it will just run you can call your friends and just uh, give your WAN IP you're not supposed to give your uh, internal IP that is uh, uh, like you're having uh, this thing in this main uh, 192.168.1.2 that is your LAN IP okay uh, you're just uh, you, ha you need to just check your WAN IP to which you're going to give to your friends uh, from this what is my IP dot com I basically use that term. so this will be your WAN IP uh, suppose this thing uh, that will be your WAN IP yeah, you need to just uh, give to your friends like this somewhat uh, sorry um, something uh, like your uh, WAN IP colon your uh, port UDP port remember uh, you are not supposed to give this uh, LAN IP if you are calling your friends to play LAN like you are just uh, you are just sitting next to next uh, and actually having the same connection uh, and then you do it well that's done by now uh, we need to just check the what okay, time uh, well I am just connect to, connecting to my server to check whether it is working properly or not let's see and uh, in this way your server will be ready thank you for watching my video please subscribe to my video and uh, please like it Thank you.